Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Now and Then Some podcast with Robin and Kaylee. I'm your host, Robin. And I'm your other host, Kaylee. And here we talk about everything from now and then. And then some. That's right. And what are we talking about this week, Kales? Well, first thing is I watched the movie that you told me to watch, <gasps> yes. The Idea of You. Did you like it? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I in love with this guy right now? I know. Oh I'm like, gosh. okay, not my type, tattooed, you know, like edgy boy band yeah. style. So not my type. Um, He's sw- everybody's type. Swooning, <laughs> yeah. literally swooning the whole movie, sweating. Yeah. Uh-huh. I loved, uh, I loved it. Anne Hathaway, beautiful, stunning. Gorgeous. She did a great job. He did an amazing job. I loved him singing to her behind the stage. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I- obsessed. Yeah. So good. It's such a cute movie. I also am jamming the songs. Yeah. Really good songs. Yeah. So I'm I'm all in on it. It's nice. Great. Yeah. So I if forgot- y'all haven't watched it, y'all need to watch it for sure. Yeah, definitely. I forgot to watch or rewatch yours, so I still need to do that. You didn't watch something I told you to? I know, but it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Um, what else? Um, well, last weekend was Mother's Day weekend. That's right. So I went home to mm-hmm. Lake Jackson, of, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and so on Friday, dad had asked me to play in a washer tournament. Fun. And my mom was all excited. She was like, oh, yes, I will be in the bathtub all night with my wine. And I'll be good. Because <laughs> um, we weren't doing anything for Mother's Day until Saturday. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, well. My dad plays cornhole a lot now. And so I play cornhole more than I play washers. Yeah. I grew up playing washers my whole life. That's what we played. Yeah. And then a few years back, there was a complete switch and everyone went to cornhole. Yeah. And so washers, I was like, okay, well, the last time I played washers was last summer at the Mosquito Festival. Um, Mosquito Festival? Oh, you didn't know about the Mosquito Festival? No. So Lake Jackson slash Clute. Um, Sounds terrible. Every summer... The end of July is the Mosquito Festival. Mm. Um, Selena Quintanilla once performed at it, actually, wow. way back in the day. Another fun fact about yes. Lake Jackson. Yes. Um, but yeah, the Mosquito Festival. So every year I play in the washer tournament, and now there's a cornhole tournament, too. So last year we played in both the washer tournament and the cornhole tournament, nice. me and Dad. Um, so that's the last time I played washers, because we don't play washers anymore. Why is it called the Mosquito Festival? Well, I mean, we're always swarming with them. I mean, it's it, just always been that way. I couldn't tell you the history. Maybe I'll bring that next time. For if you're you. VIP, you get like some tiki torches. Pay no, extra. <laughs> no, you're just you're out there. You just the, get bit. You're in the heat, the humidity, and the mosquitoes. Do mosquitoes like you? No, actually, me I, neither. It's fine. Like I may get one bite, but like same. I know people that get swarmed. I'm not one of those people. Yeah. Thank God. Me neither. Yeah, I'll get like one every year. That's it. Yeah, and I never complain about mosquitoes because I'm, I'm like it's nothing yeah. to me. If I'm outside around Holly, I don't have any worries. They're all over. Mm-hmm. 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 See, yeah, anyway, that's, that's tough. <laughs> anyway, so I played washers with Dad on Friday. Nice. Um, and we did pretty well. I Good. threw really well, which just makes things better, Robin. Um. I was trying to explain to dad, like, we literally get in the room and I get shaky. Like, it's so dumb. It's a washer tournament. Like, and it's with my dad's friends who I've known forever, who I've played washers with forever. Yeah. Like, who are so excited to see me when I come home. Mm -hmm. And I literally, the first, like, when we're warming up, I am shaking, nervous. I can't even get the feel down. So then I have to, like, chug a couple drinks. Yeah. And I have to, like, get the feel back. And then once I get the feel back, we're in business. Nice. And I threw like my old self like I used to back in the day. I feel like I would be so bad at washers. Like, washers is a different ball game. Because they're so small. Yeah. It's not you can just chunk a bean bag up yeah. there. Like it's a very, you have to have the skill of throwing a washer. Yeah. Um, and I have it. I just have to get past the nerves. I'd probably take somebody's eye out yeah, with well, a washer. I'm only imagining yours just going they would just, all over the place. No rhyme or reason to yeah. where that thing ends up because I don't know. Yeah. I black out every time I try to throw <laughs> something at something else. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Washers was really fun. We we did well. We didn't win or anything, but we had yeah. a really good time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Mother's Day, we went to Postino, mm. which is a little brunch spot in um, the Heights in Houston. Mm-hmm. And we got like a bruschetta board. Bruschetta nice. board. I'm sorry. I say bruschetta. My mom yelled at me. It's bruschetta. Bruschetta. It's a bruschetta uh, board. So they had like all these different bruschetta options. Mm. We have mimosas. Yum. We walked around, went to a couple different bars around the area. Sounds like the dream. It was lovely. That's what my mom wanted to do. So that's what we did. And it that's was nice. It was great. 
Yeah, my mom wanted to do a girls trip like we've done past couple of years, not necessarily for Mother's Day in the past, but this time it was Mm. on that weekend. So my sister, my cousin Hannah, who is a new mom, well, not new, he's 11 months old, but this is her first Mother's Day with the baby on the outside. Little babes. Um, And so we went to, um, what's it called, Canyon Lake area, yeah, and just stayed at an Airbnb, had a little hot tub action, just chilled and played games, puzzles. My cousin Hannah is an awesome puzzle person and I'm not not normally but I could tell my sister and my mom were just not feeling it so it was like Hannah and I were on that puzzle nice and we solved two 500 piece puzzles that were beautiful from Target like I love that cool um artwork of like awesome women really pretty puzzles so it was just lovely and chill I love that yeah I'm glad you had a good mother's Mm -hmm. day um also something that got brought up on that Saturday Mm -hmm. was my, we were talking about the podcast, and Sis brought up the whole Sperry situation. Yeah. <laughs> my dad goes, hey, I'm wearing mine right now. Oh, no. My dad has Sperry shoes. Oh, my gosh. That's okay, though. A dad can wear Sperry. They're like the van. They're like vans. Yeah. But they're like, they're Sperry. So like, if you yeah. looked at them, you wouldn't go, oh, that's a Sperry. Yeah. They look like kind of vans. Like the loafer kind of style. Yes. That's all my dad wears, but they're um, all birds. Yeah. They're really comfortable. My dad has some of those too. Yeah. But he was wearing a Sperry's that day, which was so funny when sis brought it up. Rock those Sperry's, dad. And then dad was like, Why are y'all laughing at me? Like, what? Tell me about it. Cause Mm -hmm. my dad had not caught up on the pod. (gasps) It's okay. I understand. Just kidding. Pop culture, not always for the pops. (laughs) That's fair. (laughs) Pops culture. He was was definitely more into it when the fantasy football was going on. That could be a segment. Pops culture. And what are we talking about? Things that dad's like. (laughs) (laughs) Could be. Or we tell a dad joke. Oh. All right, we'll think on that. Pops okay. culture. Pops culture <laughs> might be coming your way. Um, so then he, we, I explained it to him or whatever, and he was like, we talked about the boat situation, yeah. and my dad was like, I literally wear my Sperry's flip-flops on the boat because they don't slide. That's what they were made for. So my dad proved everything I said wrong. Um, there are <laughs> Sperry's out in the wild. My dad is wearing them on his boat. You rock those Sperry's, Dad. So that just... Cracked me pride. up. Pride. Cracked me up. That is hilarious. Mm-hmm. You didn't even mean to do it. You just straight up dissed your dad. I straight up dissed my dad and didn't even realize it. Mm. Bless it. <laughs> it was funny. We were all laughing That's about good. it. That's <laughs> good. Um, and then in exciting news. Yes. So I talked about Bop to the Top. Uh, bop, bop, bop to the top. Thank, now you can sing. I know. I can sing the song. I love it. Um, so I talked about that last episode. Well, they accepted my submission of let's go back to Houston. Mm-hmm. And I officially got tickets. That's awesome. Today. So um, it was just your submission. Yeah. That did the trick. I'm sure it was just mine. <laughs> and uh, they're coming back to Houston. I got tickets. So me, sis, Kelby, Carly and Shelby are all going. When is it? At the end of July. Why didn't you ask me if I want to go? Well, it's Hannah Montana themed. I know but I could watch Hannah Montana. You're going to watch all the seasons of Hannah Montana and the movie. I've watched some of it. Do I need to watch all the seasons or just well, the movie? Oh, no. It's going to pull from the show and all her songs and soundtracks. Oh, yeah. I didn't think you would be into it. That's why I didn't no, ask. You're yeah. welcome to join. I can get another ticket. But I I didn't think it would be your speed. Let me think about it. Okay. Think I'll about talk it. to Sawyer about it. Okay. Think about it. Okay. Because it is in Houston. If it was in Austin, I'd be like, no brainer. Right when we're done recording, I'll just go buy some right. tickets. But yeah, I'm going to think about it. Okay, you think about it. Okay, I'm going to think about it. I'm very excited. I'm going to keep <laughs> saying I'm going to think about it. Think about it. <laughs> um, I'm very excited to go, though. Cool. So I'll be back to, I'll be bebopping to the top, as, nice. as I like to say. Love it. Uh, last thing here before we get into our and then, um, well, besides Robin's wrong, we're famous, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. So we talked about our crumble cookie review and we hadn't, you know, gotten any traction or even post, I don't even know what the time frame is, but since then it's been um, over a week and the last I checked, our very first review had almost 110,000 views. What? Actually wild. The internet I told is Robin, a crazy place. I told Robin, there's 100,000 people out there that have literally watched me eat six cookies. There's 110,000 <laughs> people out there that watched a, vid- a three, almost four minute video of me with a giant gray hair sticking straight up out of my head the entire now, time. Now if y'all go back, you'll notice it. You wouldn't notice it before though. I told Robin, I didn't notice it until you called it out. I was literally, when you were getting the cookies from inside, in the mirror, plucking my gray hairs <laughs> out and the giant one that I miss is just like, meep, 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 like alfalfa the entire video. So funny. Um, but yeah, they commented on it, which was really cool. Cool. And uh, yeah, we did already talk about that. Yeah. So they commented on our second one. Yeah, we did our second one, which 
This is the best thing. I'm so happy right now it's that we're fun. doing this. I'm so happy we're doing it every yeah. week. Yeah. We did it at like 8.30 in the morning, though, for our second one. We're not going to do that again. That was a lot of sugar in the morning. Yeah. It was just um, how it worked out with our schedule. You know, we just needed to work around some things. And so we're like, let's just go kind of right when they open. And it's not the move. No. The morning. I'm not as, I'm not peppy because I haven't had my no. coffee. And it's a lot of sugar in the morning. And yeah. you kind of feel like, bleh, yeah. the rest of the day. Yeah. So we won't be doing that again. No. But crumble cookie we're coming back for you. Yes. We're doing it every week and we love it. Yes, we are. So go check it out on TikTok and Instagram, but definitely uh, give our TikTok a follow because that might be the place where we get traction with this the most. Yeah. Instagram, there's no like crumble Instagram talk. Like it's it's a TikTok yeah. thing. I've never seen one no. review on Instagram. No. So that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Robin's wrong. Robin's wrong. Um, I was wrong about, uh, I was not wrong about Baz Luhrmann doing Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Um, but he also directed a bunch of them. Um, he directed The Great Gatsby. Oh. He, hello. <laughs> he directed um, Australia with, you know, never Nicole seen, Kidman. Me never either. seen it. Um, Elvis, the Elvis movie. That the new came one? Out. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep. And then he, I guess one of his famous ones is from 92 called Strictly Ballroom. I've never seen it. but I've, I feel like I've heard of it, It sounds though. familiar. Yeah. Yeah. So he has a few more, obviously. But uh, there's that. And then some people called out that I said um, that she couldn't, Sawyer couldn't bring trail mix because of the nut allergy. And then I immediately, <laughs> right after that, said, <laughs> so I made her a Nutella sandwich. So is there nuts on Nutella? Hazelnuts. Oh. I mean, it's in the name. Nutella. Nutella. I know. I didn't know if that was a it's play a on. It's a hazelnut chocolate spread. So that just didn't occur to me. Oh. So I said something to Sawyer. I'm like, you let me send you to school. I think it was three days that week with a Nutella sandwich. And she's like, that's different. At snack time, they eat in their classroom. And so there's like no nuts allowed. But at lunch. You can have nuts. They separate. Oh. So there's a certain table versus oh, another table. That is table. so sad. You have a peanut allergy? Go well, sit no, no, at that no. table. She said it's more like if you brought it from home versus the school lunch. Okay, okay. And so, yeah, I don't know. She said she, it's okay at okay, lunch. Okay, okay. Got it. Um, so just wanted to point that out in case somebody else was thinking the same thing of like, in one breath, she said horrible nut allergy and then she sent her kid to school with Nutella. So Fair. it's all good, okay? Fair. And I think that's it for, I think that's all for Robin's wrong. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what we come up with yeah. this episode. <laughs> we'll see. All right. You ready to get into the and then? Let's do it. All right. My and then. Mm-hmm. Theme parks slash roller coasters slash that whole experience. It's a good one. So did you go all the time as a kid? I didn't go all the time. And I if so, which ones did you go to? I didn't ride my first roller coaster until I was in fifth grade. I was too scared. Okay. And then once I did, I was hooked. Yeah. And we would always go to um, Fiesta Texas in San Antonio. Robin. Yeah. Yes. The this. Rattler was my first roller coaster. Oh my god! And like your neck hurts when oh. you get it's like the last time I rode it as an adult, I it was, was awful. I had regrets, but the reason that I rode it was because whatever group we were in, my dad was going to have to stay back with me, and I can tell he really wanted to ride it. Mm. So I was like, fine, I'll do it. And then I went again and again and again. It was so fun. Yeah. So we went to Fiesta Texas all the time. Mm-hmm. We also, when I was really young, Astro World was a thing. Yeah. In Houston. I've been to Astro World, but then it. You know, shut down pretty early on, so we didn't go to Astro World anymore. I did go on that one with the one that like you're like kind of hanging upside down a little bit. Yes, I can't think of the name right now. That was that was actually my first one, and that turned me off to roller coasters. Mm, That was that was a long time ago for Astro World. Really, like the core memories for me are Fiesta Texas and Sea World. We did Sea World a lot. Never did Sea World. Now, I don't know why we didn't. Now I just feel awful even yeah. saying that because I watched that um, documentary. I never watched it, but I heard about it. I don't need to watch it to know that it's a very, oh, it'll it's make you, wrong. It'll that we, make you really sad. Don't watch it. Yeah. Whenever I see people still going to SeaWorld, I'm like, maybe don't put that on Instagram. Yeah. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. Anyway, back I get to that the posi- it's fun. Yeah. Back yeah. to the positivity. Positive. Um, Fiesta, Texas. So it was so funny because my mom, so my mom doesn't like roller coasters. She gets sick. Yeah. Not her jam. Mm-hmm. And my dad was like dying for me and sis to be big enough to go on roller coasters, yeah. to be tall enough to go on roller coasters. Cause my dad is all about it's a them. big moment when you're tall enough. My dad would ride 50 in a row without even blinking twice. Yeah. Like he's all about it. Yeah. Right. So I remember <laughs> we were literally talking about this the other day. They would put me in platform sandals. Oh yeah. Platform flip flops so that I was tall enough mm-hmm. to get on these rides because my dad was just itching to go on like which is the big ride crazy to think about because i I mean i feel like that was definitely a thing like especially because platform sandals were like a thing around then so it wasn't obvious yeah but sawyer just reached the the height whenever we went to um universal harry potter or Mm -hmm. whatever she was barely at the and it 
I was like sitting next to her on those roller coasters, the Harry Potter world ones, holding her knee. Like, there's no way that this thing is going to hold her in. She's also very teeny. Even if she's tall enough, Robin, yeah. she's just small. I was just so nervous. She was just going to whoop, slip right out of that oh, thing. Oh, no. My parent, my dad was doing anything to be, <laughs> to be able to ride this roller coaster with me. He's like, girls, I got a trench coat. Stack yeah. up. <laughs> no, we literally had a bag that we carried around, and it had my platform. And when I say this thick. Like I'm three-inch th- platform like th- singles. At least three-inch platform that flip-flops. That is so funny. And right before we would get up at the front of the line, we'd swap them out. <laughs> put my flat ones back in the bag. And I walk great. up there and I'm like and my dad's like whatever you do Kaylee act normal don't look down don't like don't look nervous stand tall you're yeah. fine once you get the okay then you can take them off and put them in the little bin that you is know so funny oh my god I just and I loved him like I would ride with dad all the time the best I will say this now I do get sick oh bummer. so now I have motion sickness really bad yeah um as I've gotten older not even like older as in my 30s, but like even when I started like high school and on, I started to get the motion yeah. sickness gene hit me mm, or whatever. When you're sucks. a kid, I feel like it just doesn't exist. No. Um, now I have it. So I will still ride the roller coaster. Like if we went to Fiesta Texas tomorrow, I'd ride all the rides. I just have to take so a break fun. in between. Yeah. I feel like the ones that are smoother, maybe like the, the whenever they put the Superman one in that oh, you're, you're like hanging. That's probably my first roller coaster. Oh, when so That's great. the one that I remember literally putting on platform sandals for. Yeah, that was a, a vast difference. Where you're put hanging. That one in where you're hanging and it's so, so cool. smooth because you're not on a da 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 That's my favorite one. Yeah, that one's really fun. my favorite fun. one. That one's really, really fun. And we would do the um the water park side. The water of, park's the best. Yes, and we. Do you do the slides though? Not the like they scare me. straight up and down single ones. Yeah. But I'll do I love the ones like we love doing the ones with as a family where we all got in the tube to like yeah. the four person tube or like the double tube. I love a double tube. We love those. Yeah. We always did those as a family. Did you ever ride the like Texas tornado one, the yellow and blue one that was literally like a tornado? And it shot you in the tornado and you like went all the way up on the sides and no. went all the way down. Oh, it was fun. It wasn't it was good. That scared me. It was another like family one. You I don't even do think together. I would do it today like oh, we so do it we live near a water park um and so we'll go and my kids have finally gotten a little bit of courage to go down some of the slides and you know the guys are all up there on the scary ones and i'm like no thank you i don't like the straight down single no. ones but i love uh, the big two i don't know what i'm slides. afraid of it's like i know i'm not gonna drown yeah, what, yeah a wedgie i don't know i just that doesn't it doesn't seem fun getting in this small little tube like this yeah and going down doesn't seem fun to me nope nope but nope, i nope. like it being in the tube and going up yeah and that's da-da-da. fun Good times. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I have a lot of great memories of going to Fiesta, Texas. There was this, um, I don't know if it's still there, so I haven't been since. I did go in college one time. I went to, since we were so in San I Marcos. We snuck vodka in and water bottles. Nice. I don't mm-hmm. think we drank. It was, like, hot and in the summer. Mm. Um, so we were not doing that. But we had a really good time. But there was this um, Scooby-Doo ride. Ooh. And I remember, like, when it came out, it was mm-hmm. like, oh, my God. And you go and you shoot all the monsters. Oh, yeah. So my family, we're so competitive. We always have mm-hmm. been. So the four of us were in the car. Oh, no, no, and we're all shooting. <laughs> Those are fun when it's interactive. Yes. Yeah. And we had, I just remember standing in line for the dang Scooby-Doo ride. Yeah. So many times. They had each, it's burned in my brain, each portrait of every character of Scooby-Doo on the wall with all their fun facts about the character. Fun. How tall they were for scooby what kind of dog he was, mm-hmm. that I like everything. And I, we just, every time we'd read them all, and pretty much have them memorized at this time. Yeah. We, we loved that ride. We always had to ride the Scooby-Doo ride. Scooby-Doo ride. Mm-hmm. Fun. Yep. So that was my and then. Lovely. Mm-hmm. So my and then is Hollywood Video. So I know it's a different flavor for everyone, but Blockbuster. Okay. Basically. I was going to say Blockbuster. Blockbuster, basically. So we would always go to Hollywood Video. It was by our HEB. And I just love there's just nothing like that experience no. of like, oh, we're going to go rent a movie. It was the best. And so you'd go and you'd, you you want to play it cool. Like, don't go straight to the one that you're really excited about because then you're going to be disappointed if it's gone, if mm-hmm. there's none to rent. Right. So you got to play it cool. You know, do they have them up for you where they're like behind? Uh-huh. So you're like, oh, uh-huh. no, there's nothing behind it. Yeah. Where yep. it's like the fake one. Yeah. Yeah. We had we had that. And then they had a Hollywood video. I don't know if maybe Blockbuster did this too. the rain check. Like if it was a brand new movie that they promised would be in stock for, you know, a limited amount of time, Mm -hmm. if it wasn't, you got a rain check slip. Like at the counter, you would say, hey, I wanted to do this. And they'll give you a rain check slip. And then the next time that you go to rent it, it's free. Okay. We didn't, I don't remember that at Blockbuster. It was cool. We were, we were pretty bad about, I was pretty bad personally about like 
not being turning them in late. Mm-hmm. Um, but we always, you know, got to rewind it. Be kind, rewind. <laughs> and uh, it was always just so fun, like just perusing the different yeah. aisles, seeing what's new, having that conversation slash argument. I was about to say the argument over which yep. movie we were going to get. Yep. And how many you're going to get. It's like, yep. no, we're only getting two. No, we're only getting one. Sometimes yep. you get three, which was so exciting. Right. Um, and everybody had to be on the same page. And then at the checkout, you get the big boxes of candy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Junior Mints. Definitely junior mints. Love me some junior mints. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's just something that we don't really experience nowadays. I don't. I mean, I don't think they even no, exist now anymore. Now we live in the streaming world. You know what I saw the other day though uh, was a red box. Did you ever go you to red box? red box? Yeah, as well. I did too. Where and then I had um, whenever Netflix so bad at returning them. Yeah. Oh my god, so bad. <laughs> I, I may remember, I may have owned some red box movies oh, that I finally sure. was like. We're just going to own this yeah. now. And Netflix, too, whenever they first started, they would mail you. You could pay, like, however much a month to get different amounts of DVDs. Yeah, see, I never did that. And then Netflix. you just swap them out. So I got, like, I think four a month. Um, and, yeah, I still have a couple in the little red sleeves. So that's how Netflix started, though, before they were streaming. I didn't know that. We yeah. just never used it that way. Mm-hmm. So that's my that's my end then. I like it. Mm-hmm. All right. You ready to get into the now? Let's do it. Okay, so starting off with yes. something that I have spoken about on here before mm-hmm. that I had to put in Kaylee's corrections. Yeah. Um, the prequel to Legally Blonde called L mm-hmm. is official. Yes. Um, picked up by Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. It's officially happening and it's a prequel, which I think is a cool I love that it's I did a prequel. Not, I did not know they were going that route. Yeah. I love that they're going that route because yep. we get a little backstory. Yeah, I love a backstory. It's mm-hmm. gonna be about her in high school. I mean, just see Elle Woods in high school. I can only imagine how oh. fabulous she was. Oh man, the casting for that has got to be spot on. They've got to get the best actress for that. It better be. Mm. Do you have anyone in mind? No, not really. Everybody that I'm thinking of is probably a little too old. Right. So I feel like they need somebody who isn't known. Like this could mm. be their kind of breakout role. Yeah. Um, it reminds me of, did you ever watch the show Carrie Diaries? Uh, I didn't. I it know about so it. It was so cute. I, I thought, I've thought about watching it. But I don't know I why they canceled. I think it only was a couple seasons, but I, I really enjoyed that. I love a backstory because there's really not much you can do to mess it up. Yeah. Like they, we know how she ended up. And so they have to align to that. They can't take it in some weird direction. No. So I think that's really interesting. And I love everything that Prime puts out is really high quality. And yeah. it's Reese Witherspoon's production company. I was going to say, Reese Witherspoon is involved. So yeah. I feel good about it. Yeah, I do too. That's very exciting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also. Oh, my God. I've been dying to talk about this. Taylor Swift in Paris live stream. We were watching it live. <laughs> And everybody was speculating on the set list and was she going to play Tortured Poets or not? And boy, did she. And did she play the best songs on the album, in my opinion? Yes, she did. Yes. Yes, she did, baby. Mm -hmm. And then she switched it up the next one whenever um, Travis was there Mm -hmm. and did a bit longer for So High School and kept giving him a little little, little mm -hmm, smooch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Gigi Hadid and Bradley Cooper were were there. They were all jamming. Everybody's making fun of the way Bradley Cooper was dancing. He was so into it. I thought it was fine. I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. I so my best friend Carly, the Taylor Swift biggest fan I know, mm-hmm. was sending me multiple videos of all the different angles of yeah. everyone at the concert. Mm-hmm. We had the live stream going. Mm-hmm. Um, she I loved it. I thought she nailed it. I thought like the whole production of it, her outfits, mm-hmm. like the two piece outfit. I'm like, God, she looks good. Oh, yeah. Did you see that the two-piece she wore when Travis was there was Chiefs colors? Yes. That was so cute. Oh, I wasn't even talking about that. Oh. That's for 1989. Yeah. But I'm talking about for the Torture Poets Department. Oh, right. Sorry. Where she has like the black two-piece oh, or yeah. the white two-piece or mm-hmm. the silver two-piece. Yeah. Um, so I forgot that was not the same era. Duh. Well, I mean, yeah. that two-piece is new, too. Yeah. She changed that up. Mm-hmm. Um, But I, the Tortured Poets... Oh awesome. I loved it when she put on like the conductor, the band yes. conductor outfit, and there were so Hel- many. People. Hello, shout out Maddie Healy. Yes, on I that looked one. it up. He used to be the drummer for the 1975, so that seemed a little pointed, well, which we love. And that he's literally done similar production in his shows. I saw side by oh. side, and it was like, well, I wonder what this is about. And it was like him doing very similar things mm-hmm. to her doing it. Wow. I'm like, mm. yeah, she's crushing it. Um, I keep checking to see if she's going to add some more tour dates because that resale ticket value is not happening. I've looked multiple times because yeah. I would just love to deliver on that for you, Robin. No, it's I, not happening. It's okay. But I I can't be paying thousands, she, thousands of dollars. If she adds a date in Texas, though, and we can like get into presale, I will definitely like want to get some decent 
seats. Oh, I'm in. Yeah. There's a, I have a limit in my, yeah. in my head that I will go to, but Same. thousands of dollars is no, not absolutely even not. close. Especially because if you go, like the closest one here is uh, New Orleans, right? Mm -hmm. So if you go to any of the resale sites, the cheapest like nosebleed is in the $2,000 range and then it jumps to like six. Yeah. And I, it's not happening. I'm just not one of those people that can go, no. this is going to make me sound bougie, go to a concert and send the nosebleed. No, it's like not, if I'm going not, to a concert, I'm going to a concert yeah. and I want at least decent seats. Yeah. So same. We'll keep an eye out. Maybe she'll add some dates. Maybe. Fingers maybe, crossed. maybe she's gotten even more excited with adding in the tortured poets. So she's like, hey, I want to add some more shows yeah. in for the people that so that they can see it. Yeah. We're putting it out there. Yes, we are. Come on, Taylor. Aww. We want to see you again. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. 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 In another exciting news, mm -hmm. there's a Bieber baby on the way. Bieber baby. So Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber are preggers, mm -hmm. which there was a lot of speculation around it, but it's a fish. Yep. They announced it with some beautiful photos of her. And they were like renewing their vows. I they think? renewed their vows and yeah. did like a pregnancy photo shoot and announcement. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was really awesome to see. Yes, it was. Sorry, my phone just did something weird. We're back. Um, next thing is the new uh Jeopardy celebrity pop culture. That's what I that's what I heard about it. That it was like celebrities are gonna play, but it's gonna be pop culture, or is it just going to be pop culture Jeopardy? It's just pop culture Jeopardy. Oh, I, I thought I heard the word celebrities in there. Read I don't it. think so. Maybe not. Either way, pop culture. Pops culture. Count us in. <laughs> just a bunch of dads. I just want to apply. So I already looked to see okay. if we could apply. We can't right now. Okay. There are no applications open. Okay. They haven't even found a host yet. So I'm thinking that maybe they're just not opening applications mm -hmm. yet. So the second they do, we're applying. Because Absolutely. Because obviously right up our alley. Yeah. That would be so fun. How cool. Oh, my gosh. I'll be tuning in for sure even if we don't ever get on it. <sighs> but um, I hope they get someone really funny to host. They need someone charismatic. <gasps> Nikki Glazer. That'd be great. Yes. That'd be that great. Be so good. Um, so super excited about that. Love anything pop culture. Love game shows. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So was excited to see that. Who knows how long it's going to take before it comes out. But yeah, I didn't see any dates yeah. on it, but I That's was like, right. ooh, I'll be tuning in. Mm -hmm. And then something else that I'll be tuning in for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first golden bachelorette season is happening and it's going to be Joan. And she's the really pretty blonde lady. She had to leave, leave early on Gary's season because yeah. her daughter needed her. Mm -hmm. Her daughter was really pregnant and needed really her. Really pregnant or had a newborn, something like that. Yeah. So that was so heartbreaking. Yeah, it was that was sad to watch. Yeah. Um, I felt for her. But yeah, she's officially the first Golden Bachelorette. Gary put out a little, you're going to do great, Joan, note. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah. Hopefully she can save the franchise. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping. I, I will be tuning in. Mm -hmm. But this one's got to be good or the Golden Batch may just not be happening after yeah. this. So mm -hmm. let's hope she does well yeah let's mm -hmm. hope it's a good season yeah definitely but we'll definitely tune in and do some recaps every yeah. week it comes on in the fall nice so we've got a little while okay cool it's a fish congrats joan mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then something else that's a fish mm -hmm. is the new house of dragons trailer that just dropped this week Ooh, um y'all so y'all so they had done the like the green and the black trailer right. dueling trailers before this is like the official two and a half minute one because it's dropping in about a month. Yeah. June 16th is the premiere. Crazy that that's in a month. I feel like the first time we talked about it, I was like, that's so far away. I remember when you were like, why would you watch it now? You have so long. <laughs> and then you and I'm like, it's not, even that, it's not even that long. Like, yeah. I feel like I just watched it. Mm -hmm. So I'm, we're only a month out. But the trailer is amazing. It made me very, very excited for the second season. Yeah. I also saw that season three, they're already writing and spinning up. So it that's happening, which is always a good sign that it's yeah. going to continue on. And hopefully they keep it moving where it's not years and years between mm -hmm. seasons. So mm -hmm. very exciting. Yeah. So y'all check that out. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Great. And I think that's all we got. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take it over to Watch, Watch It, Weirdo. Weirdo. Okay, so we're going to save... High School Musical 2 for when Bailey comes. Yep. So we'll do that next. But we're going to do Save the Last Dance for okay. now, which is what you assigned to me. Yes. What a ride. <laughs> what a ride this movie was. What a ride. <laughs> um, Interesting. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting. I love Julia Stiles. Mm -hmm. I mean, just love her. Yeah. I was excited to see her. Um, <laughs> I... I I'm like, how do I say this? She's so white. It's jarring. No, like it's jarring. I, and I, and I mean this in two ways. Yeah. I mean this in one. She is physically 
so white in yeah. this movie. Like, they were like, hey, stay indoors. Don't no, get any vitamin D for a year. Did they dye her white? Yeah. Like, like she's the so paciest white. I've ever Translucent. seen. Translucent. I'm like, okay, this is extreme. Yeah. And then also, she's so white. She's so white. Trying to do any type of hip hop dancing or lingo with to fit in. I was like, oh, God. So cringe. Yeah. It was cringe back then. I won't, I won't lie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. It was a, an important commentary on white privilege and all that well, stuff. But. You know, Robin, that's what I was interesting about this is because it was like, okay, is it about the dancing or is it about like the racial issues? Is yeah. it about like, it was like, yes, it, all of it. It was like, I you, wanted, it, you wanted to have it be like the light, lighter side of it. But then yeah. it was like really heavy with the shootings and the, yeah. I was like, okay, this is like, where, where are my emotions at? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot mm -hmm. to like put into a two hour movie to try to hit all the points. And That's I was like, like for teenagers. Right. Yeah. It was, it was kind of bizarre mm -hmm. in that way. And like you said, for teenagers, they're in high school mm -hmm. and they're shooting up each other, which I know does happen in some places, yeah. but it was just, it was a lot. Yeah. Um, but let me go through my notes. Here. Okay. Uh, I was super pumped because her best friend, Chenille is Olivia Pope. Uh -huh. It's Carrie Washington. She's so great in that movie. Okay, so she comes on the screen, and I'm watching her talk. I'm listening to her talk, and I'm like, that has to be. Like, I almost didn't recognize her, but I was like, that yeah. has to be her. And then I went and triple checked myself. Yes, yep. it was. Mm -hmm. um, she did an amazing job. Oh, yeah, like, she's, she's the best great, part of that movie. She's a great actress. Mm -hmm. Everything I've seen her in. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to ask you this. So in gym class, they are climbing the rope. Mm-hmm. Did you have that in gym no. class? It's in all the movies. It's in and all I'm like, the movies. I've never seen that in my life. I feel like it was a thing back in the day, but they got got rid of it. Yeah. And, okay. I was just curious. Must have, unless it's I don't know. Maybe. We and just then didn't the have balance it. beam in gym class. Mm -mm. I'm like, no one has gym like gymnastics equipment no. in gym class. Nope. What are we talking about? Yeah. No. Um. So that was interesting. And she's like dancing on it, and they're all like, ooh. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Wow, ballet. Never seen that before. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, so then they're going to the club. Mm -hmm. It's all about the club for this movie, which I God. also am like, this is interesting because they're in high school. Yeah. And they're trying to hit the club every night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, then she gets the fake ID from Chenille and it's this, you know, larger lady, mm -hmm. this older, larger lady. And, um, Julia Stiles is like, she's ugly. She's fat. And then Chenille responds, she's 21. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> okay, so then she goes into the cl the club, the club with her fake ID mm -hmm. that doesn't look anything like her. <laughs> um, I was appalled at Chenille wrapping up her hair in a in do rag, scarf. yeah, in a do rag situation with the scarf. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, she's not going in there like that. Oh, she is. Okay, we're going with Just it. Just full on cultural appropriation. Ooh, it was. Yep. I'm telling you. Then the dancing in the club. I was like, I. Okay, I guess when you're in high school, you're, you know, any excuse to grind on each other, I guess. But I was like, this is uncomfortable to even watch. And Julia Stiles really went for it, but it oh. was so cringe. Well, even before she started dancing, like, oh, the they were, like, people. going around the, yeah. the, the club and everyone's dancing on each other. And I'm just like, this is just y'all humping. Like, everyone's just humping. Yeah. Slowly, to pretending like it's to the music. Yeah, grinding. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. We we danced like that. Of course, we we've all grinded in our days. But <laughs> who hasn't grinded? But like, yeah, it was it was a lot they of were getting lot, it. A lot of that. Then mm -hmm. she starts dancing. Yes, and she's like, <laughs> like it made me think of in Hitch where he's yeah. like, "This is home." Yeah, and she's just like, mm. "Yeah." That's how she's dancing. I was like, "Okay, uh -huh. can we get past this?" Yeah. Um, but they were jamming in the club. Like, yeah. Single ladies, I can't hear ya. Looks like fun. I, I was like, ooh, I love that song. Like, I knew that song. I recognize a lot of songs. There were a lot of um, Biggie in this mm -hmm. movie. They played a lot of Biggie, which mm -hmm. I'm all about. Um, my next note is, she's so white, it hurts. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to say that five more times in this review because... That's pretty much what the movie's about. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, then she tells her mans, no, I would never bust a cap in your ass. And then he's like, <laughs> and she's like, okay. And then they move on. And I was like... What? Why? Why would you what? say that? <laughs> Why? Um, Pardon? Yeah. Then I did like all the lessons, like the lesson scenes where he's teaching yeah. her. They're cringe in some ways. But, but also like classic. Classic. Yeah. Um, Gotta have them. And he tells her when he's teaching her, he said, act like you're a nasty bitch, like with your face. Because he's like, no, 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 no. Like that's too nice or that's too smiley. Mm -hmm. He's like, act like you're a nasty bitch. And I'm like, oh yeah, we all get the stank face mm -hmm. on when we're getting it. Mm. You know, you got to get that stank going. Mm -hmm. Um, so I thought that was funny. 
Um, let's see what else did I have? Oh, <laughs> I can't. They're walking to the club for the fifth time in the movie. And, uh, her boyfriend is like, you got to get ready for Juilliard. Come on to go in the club, the club. I'm like, yes, the club is going to help you with Juilliard. Cause that very, totally makes sense. Very realistic plot. This movie. Yes. Then she auditions for Juilliard. Uh-huh. And she gets to the contemporary part. She does her ballet part. And they're like, okay, are you ready for the contemporary portion of your audition? Mm -hmm. She falls. Then her boyfriend breaks in the theater. No, not my girl. She can do it. Y'all better listen. She's awesome. I'm like, so realistic. I'm like, oh, yes, because Juilliard is going to listen to some random guy coming yeah. in the freaking theater and telling them to lit to watch his girlfriend. Yep. Um. <laughs> okay. So then she starts dancing on a chair. The chair. The And she like bounces off the chair like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with the weird stuff with her hands. So, whoo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's let's be real. The real star of that movie was that chair. Oh my god! Stole when the she show. She broke out the chair, and then she's like grinding on the chair. Yeah, at, in part of it for Juilliard. I'm yeah. like, guys, this is what we're working with. Well, well, <laughs> I I can't. I can't. you probably can hear this couch squeaking. They're as all I'm picturing it. Whoever's not watching on YouTube, they're picturing us it's doing her so, little awkward. It was so oh god, so awkward. Then she ends the audition. Two seconds later, welcome to Juilliard. I'm like, really, guys? That's that's what we're going with here? This is the hope that they instilled in the youth of America. That if you grinded on a chair, bounced on a chair. Mediocre hip-hop dancing that you're white into girl. Juilliard. Juilliard, front row seat. You yep. know, wow. You, I will say it did make me want to watch um, Step Up really mm. bad because it's very similar as far as it's like. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. <sighs> That movie. Mm -hmm. It's very similar in the audition scenes yeah. and like the new type of dancing and, and all practicing that. Practicing yes, scenes. Exactly. I love because the feel good montage in a dance movie is all the rehearsals. Right. I love that part. Right. And so it, I was like, okay, well, the vibe of this and like the cutaway scenes yeah. to the practicing and auditions made me think of Step Up. So I have you to seen watch it. Um, Center Stage? Mm -mm. Ooh. Mm, I don't even know what that I want to sign it to you next because that's too similar of a vibe, but okay. it's, um, it's, Ballet, like they're in a okay. ballet company and there's lots of drama. I I feel like you might have seen it. Maybe. Maybe. We'll look it up and we can see, but it's okay. a, a classic. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a ride. Yeah. Um, It was interesting. I enjoyed watching it. Like I wasn't like, oh God, what, yeah. Robin, what is this? It's, it was it's just an like. interesting one because it doesn't follow like the typical mold. No. Again, it was like it, trying to It was trying to be out. this, but it was trying to be this, but yeah. it was trying to be this. And I was like, okay, my emotions are like this. Uh -huh. Like it was just a lot going on. Yeah. Um, it really thought it was on to something, though, you know? Interesting movie, to say the least. <laughs> My three words are, she's so white. I'm yep. sorry. Like, and I'm, again, I mean it in both ways. Mm -hmm. Love you, Julia, but wow. Wow. So thanks, Robin. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so what are you giving me for next week? Um, so for next week, I'm giving you Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie. Okay. Yeah. I've seen the show, yeah. but never the movie. The original movie that the show was a spinoff from. I just remember going like, oh, oh, <laughs> so can't wait for that oh, scene. <laughs> Pee Wee Herbin. Can't wait for that scene. So good. Okay, cool. So we'll do um, High School Musical 2 recap shortly with Bailey, and then I'll sign you your next one in after that. Sounds good. All right. So we're going to go over to doing that with Bailey. Let's do it. All right, y'all. We are here with none other than Bailey. Yay. Hello, hello. Thank y'all for having me. Of course. So Thanks excited. For being here. Yes. Sorry about the neighbor mowing his lawn right outside the window, if you can hear it. But we're just going to keep it rolling. Yes, we are. Um, so we have Bailey on for a couple things. But first, to talk about High School Musical 2, because that's the movie that I assigned Robin this week. Yeah. And I was like, oh, we should have Bailey on for this because I grew up with Bailey and we loved all the Disney Channel things together. Mm -hmm. We also went to the Bebop to the Top tour last year, which was all about High School Musical and all the old Disney faves, and we jammed. Yep. It was truly one of the best experiences. Yeah, it really was one of the most fun <laughs> nights I've ever had. So, I love that for y'all. Yeah. So um, we've got Bailey here to talk High School Musical, too, but let's get Robin's thoughts. Okay. So High School Musical 2, very different than High School Musical 1, in my opinion. Okay. I liked them both. Everyone looks so different, though. Like, they grew up. They definitely look older than yeah. in the first one. They look like babies. Yeah. So um, I said everyone is the same, but they look so much older. Uh, Sawyer was very upset that Vanessa Hutchins' character, or I guess her, too, cut her hair. 
she kept being like, why did she short. cut her hair? Very true. Why did she cut her hair? <laughs> um, also, the first song really annoyed Sawyer because she did not understand how, if the bell rang, why they weren't leaving school. She kept going, leave. Just leave. School's out. <laughs> well, what they, are you doing? They have to do a musical number. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> and then the bell rang again at the end of the song. So I was like, oh, that was the fake bell. That was the real bell. It was so the was warning just, bell. It was so funny. She could not get over it. She was like, why are they still at school? I don't understand. Um, I thought it was interesting that they are at the beginning of summer and yet everyone is so tan. So tan. So right tan. off the bat. Like a jarring difference well, going yeah. from High School Musical 1 to 2. Especially Zac Efron. Yeah, and like, was he was that, the most noticeable, I feel like. And I feel like that yeah. was the heyday of like tanning beds. So like that yeah. was the look was to be orange, basically. <laughs> so they were in fashion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we, for the longest time, until her dad rolled up in a helicopter, thought that the manager guy was her dad. Bolton? Yeah. <laughs> sure I don't know. Interesting thought. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> why. But it just, like, at one point, Sarah goes, that's her dad? I don't know. It just, it just seemed like that. Like, we had no reason to think that he wasn't. Her dad. She called him Fulton. Well, she's also Sharpay. I guess. I don't know. We didn't catch that. Interesting. Up. We didn't catch that. Okay. Um, her mom was giving Major, like, I'm a cool mom mm -hmm, vibes. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't mind her. She wasn't that bad. Uh, I really wanted Troy to wash his hair. That I wanted look. them to not dye his hair That's dark what I, for this movie. That's what I was so going to say. It's so obvious it looked so fake. It's and like it, Auburn. Yeah. yeah. And it just was like, that's not his... Troy Bolton, you know, allure that he yes. had in the first like, movie. Yeah. Yeah. It was so very that obvious. was something that I always hated when it first came out was that they dyed his hair. I Why did like, they what? mess with his hair? He had perfect, he had Troy perfect Bolton hair. hair. It was giving like um, Bella in Eclipse when she gets that big old wig. Weave. The yeah. Weave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not a. Mm -mm. Yeah. His hair just being like so greasy and like flat and that like shorter against the head. Yeah. Do of the times. Ugh. Um, that picnic was gorgeous. The most picturesque, beautiful picnic that Troy set up for oh, yeah, yeah, Gabriella. Yeah. I thought it was so beautiful. She looks stunning in that scene with her little oh, yeah. dress on. Oh, yeah. She's oh, yeah. just cute in this oh, movie. Oh, my gosh. She's cute. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then Sharpay had – I keep wanting to call her Sharpie. Uh, she <laughs> had that little poof in the front. Mm -hmm. I wore that. Very of the times. Almost every single yes. day. I definitely had a time mm -hmm. where I was doing the poof. Uh, Ryan has no life, LOL. He just follows Sharpe around. Yeah, which Poor guy. then we see that he finally but he comes alive. Yes, the yeah. second half of the movie, yeah. he's much more which I thought involved. Was, I thought was great. Mm -hmm. um, I understand that the premise is like, oh, that's like the friend group, and they're going to work together. But like, what kind of country clubs? Just like, oh, twelve Hire of all. your friends want to work, and they have no previous qualifications or experience. Sure, let's put them in the kitchen. Parents are on the board. I guess you do what the board <laughs> yeah. says. I don't know. It was just funny. Yeah. Um. I there were so many little funny moments that I loved, like Zach Efron and whatever that guy's name Clay, like skipping through the kitchen. Do you remember that scene? No. Uh -huh. Oh, when they're going in to like start the day. Yeah. Yeah. And they skip through the kitchen. <laughs> I guffawed. It was so funny. They're so cute. Uh. Let's see. Why is the dad arriving in a helicopter? I thought the other guy was the dad. We already talked about that. Oh, and then the other really funny moment that I loved, both in the kitchen, was when Troy was really frustrated and he walked in the kitchen and he just screams. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. It was so funny. Uh. The Hawaiian song is absurd. Oh, the... So what's crazy about that is it that is not in the original like release, like in the movies. Yep. When we went and saw it, that wasn't in there and yep. then it like later came out i yep. guess on dvd yes and we were like what literally oh. it's not like i forget that that song exists because it again it was not one of the original songs part of the movie and then so, like this and it just is it doesn't trash, really fit honestly. yeah trash. Like, it's because just trash but it's I, very entertaining trash. i it, it, love <laughs> the songs fair. in this movie so oh, much yes, yes and yeah. then that one's just in there it's so weird yeah. It's a weird vibe. It was a weird vibe. Um, somebody left that on the cutting room floor, and then somebody last minute was like, but we're going to put it in the release. The extended yes. version. They're <laughs> the like, we'll just slide this song Just hope in no there. one notices. They were real yeah. proud of themselves. Uh -huh. um, I loved how he said, I already have an R thing, and it's with Gabriella. I was like, finally. That was the thing with him is that I feel like he took a long time to like do the right thing and come around, whereas with the first one, it was so like – Problem resolution, problem resolution. And this one, like the the main problem of the plot line, plot line, plot, storyline was him like 
in that whole thing with Sharpay and with the parents and with the family and with the job and with the college people and all that stuff. And I just was like, okay, when is this like happy moment going to happen? Like, let's mm-hmm. go. Um, so that was kind of frustrating. And the fact that she just let him kind of treat her like garbage and she just never was mad. She just like was waiting for him and it happened twice and she never really said anything she about gave, it. She gave him a lot of chances. Yeah. yeah. It, it just felt a little like sweep under the rug just because she wanted to keep things happy, which is fine for High School Musical too. But I, I, I was like, am I starting to dislike Troy right now? Like, I don't like this feeling, which is what they want you to do. Uh, he also said at one point, which was really funny, that's off the hook. And I laughed. <laughs> um, and then at one point, Taylor said, this girl's got more moves than an octopus and a wrestling match. And then he goes, nah, he can swim. I just thought that was funny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm glad that Ryan was like coming around on their side. I thought that was really cute, even though they made it a little like flirtatious thing with him and Gabriella. Um, Her mom's brownies are so good. I oh yeah. And Troy's like I've had them. I've had them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that. I was like, okay. I feel like that was a little unnecessary. Yeah. That a euphemism but... or. I don't know. I just, I, I agree. I, they didn't need to. They make didn't that. need to make that like vibe between the two no. of them. I feel like no, it was but, unnecessary. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm glad Ryan came around, and then I also said, oh no, he's bad at his thing when he's not with Gabriella and the team. Shocking. Mm. Uh, and then, so chicks in the office, Rhea, one of the hosts of Chicks in the Office, did this video of her on a golf course. Yeah, you, singing the song. Robin finally now knows what it's from. And I had to, like, I n- kind of knew it was from the high school musical realm, but that scene and then having that image of Rhea doing it in my head, she was spot on. Oh, no, she nailed oh, move yeah. for she move. She did such a good job. Um, So, yeah, overall, I loved it. And I think I liked the first one better just for, like, the pace of it. And, like, you're, well, you asked Sawyer today, and she said the same thing of, like, you're meeting everyone for the first time. You're getting to, yeah. like, something about the first one just had a little bit more of that magic to me but I also wasn't in it at the time so I could see how if I was in it at the time I would have thought two was like I whoa loved, I loved two because it was like outside of school it was yeah. summer fair and I loved fair. the the songs in two yeah they're good are just they are like bet on it bet on it fabulous yeah gotta go my own way oh my god what about it, any breakup Come on. in you know what was it, like junior high, I guess? Mm-hmm. Like, got to go my own way, early high school. Like, that's what I'm playing on my way home from school. Yeah. Like, sad. Yeah. Yes. You know? Like, definitely. I could see that. The songs in this one are just yeah. A1. Yeah. I appreciate them both. Just they they are kind of very different. Yeah. Me. Very different. And yeah. then different vibe. the third one is much more like the first one. Okay. And I feel like, in my opinion. Okay. I would agree with that. Okay. The third one I have seen the least because I started to get a little old mm. <laughs> to be watching them. I saw the like, third one in theaters. Mm. Yeah, I got a little old on the third one. I've seen it a couple times, but I know the the first and second one throughout. Yeah. Can yeah. pretty much say every line. The third yeah. one, I know it. I know the songs, but it yeah, it's a little old. It was getting a little old. That's fair for your girl. Um, yeah. So my three words I did these Kaylee style are come on Troy. <laughs> Because yeah. that was just really frustrating. I wanted him to do mm-hmm. the right thing sooner. And Sawyer's three words were funny, corny, charisma. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Charisma. Mm. Riz. Yeah, but who has it? Troy. Well, I thought we were mad at Troy. Not at the end. <laughs> yeah. At the end, he gets it together. Every day, yeah. I love that scene. Oh, Every I love that song. When she freaking walks In the out, white I'm like, dress? I just want to do that. I mm-hmm. just want to have a little moment, be able yeah. to walk out. We all need that singing moment. a song, and everybody's like, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Like, that would be... A yeah, dream. everything. I love. Oh, fun fact for you. Mm-hmm, I love fun facts. I don't know if you noticed. They're my but, favorite kind of facts. But Miley Cyrus is dancing. She's a cameo. At the end in um, All for One, One for what? All. Mm-hmm. She's literally dancing next to the pool. How cool. Yep. That's a yeah. fun fact. Love if it that. ever comes up on trivia. Yeah, now we know. Miley Cyrus is dancing there. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Well, um, your next one is High School Musical 3. Yay! Let's just knock them all out. Yeah, I'm excited. So next week, we'll watch High School Musical 3, and I need to rewatch it, too, because, again, it's the one I've seen the least. So okay. I'm so good. Sweet. So, so good. Also, some great songs in that one, too. Great songs. And the they're just, like, song. older, <laughs> and they're more serious, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, my gosh. It's like, more serious and more, yeah. like, real-life situation-y yeah, thing. Yeah, Okay. Which is cool. Not just some random-ass talent show that means nothing. Yeah, at a country mm-hmm. club that no yeah, one no. goes to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. Okay. Okay, cool. So now we're going to 
do a fun segment with Bailey. She's going to give us some trivia questions so Robin and I can practice some more. Yep. So let's do it. All right. All right, Bailey. Hit us with some trivia. All right. Okay. Are y'all ready for the first one? Uh Yeah. Okay. Going on the High School Musical 2. Make sure you project. Going on the High School Musical 2 train. Mm -hmm. Okay. What did Chad's t-shirt say at the beginning of High School Musical 2? Oh, gosh. Was it yellow? I feel like it was yellow. Probably wasn't yellow. Um, What does Chad's shirt say? I am nothing is coming to my brain It said like, what's up? Or something like that. No. <laughs> School's no. out. No. <laughs> it said, I majored in vacation. Oh. oh. So it's kind of funny, but this has actually, like, always been brought up. Like, I remember when the movie came out, mm. we all, like, noticed that his shirt is green, by the mm. way. But it well, says that, and it was, it was just, like, a very random thing that stuck out to a lot of people. Yeah. So. Huh. I just thought I'd throw that one in. I like that. That's, that's a good, good question. Yeah, that's good to know. I should. I majored more. in vacation. I, I should pay more attention to Green, that stuff. I majored in vacation. Okay. 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 All right. On to number two. What is the name of Wendy's dog in Peter Pan? Wendy's dog's name is Nana. Final answer. That is correct. Good job, Robin. I haven't seen that movie <laughs> in at least 15 years. I love that movie. Okay. One. <laughs> Thing, maybe don't say the numbers just in case okay. we skip some. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's such a good point. Do you want me to redo those two? No, no. Oh, I guess we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually keep all this in. I don't know. <laughs> You're just really crushing it over here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. First time ever. Uh, uh, hosting. Whatever. Um, okay. What was the first music video played on the newly launched music TV network MTV? The first video. Oh, God. Was it Music like, video. Music video. Was it like... Beastie Boys, Run DMC. Uh, I I literally I don't even know. Can I get a hint? Think eighties. Mm. Blondie, Madonna. Oh, Madonna's a good guess. That's uh, a good guess. But okay, okay what but is it? It's Video Killed the Radio Star. <gasps> Duh. That oh. is a good piece of trivia right there. See, I'll never yeah. forget it now that you brought Video it to us. Thank you. Who Can sings you? that? Uh, the the bugles, the buggles, the, the bu- is it the bangles? Is it the bangles? No, the bugles. Oh, don't look at the rest of them. I don't know. <laughs> that's the buggle. That says the buggles. I think that's what I've it is. Never Unless heard. I mistyped it, in which is house, very possible. But car. yeah, it might be the bangles. It might be the buggles. Yeah, that's eighties. That's eighties, right? Yeah, for okay, sure. yeah. I don't know. All right, nineties. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next. Launched in 1980, what popular video game features four ghosts named Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde? Pac-Man. All right. Chomp, chomp, chomp. That's an easy one for y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Whitney Houston's chart-topping song, I Will Always Love You, is from what 1992 movie? The Bodyguard. Yeah, The Bodyguard. Okay. Incredible. (laughs) Love it. She's like, shit. (laughs) Okay. In its debut season, Survivor crowned this Rhode Island native as the very first winner of the reality show competition. Richard. Richard what? I don't know. His name. They only show his first name on Survivor. At the bottom, it says Richard. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Well, it's Richard Richard Hatch. Okay. I was like, I know his name's Richard because that's all they show on the screen. I thought you were about to pull that out of here somewhere. (laughs) I knew it was Richard. Yeah. They don't show the last name on. Right. When they're talking, it just says Richard. Yeah. Good job. Richard Hatch. Okay. Hatch. Hatch. Yeah. Hatch. Got it. <laughs> okay. During the 2003 MTV Video Music Awards, what two pop singers memorably shared a kiss on stage? Madonna um, and Britney, Britney Spears. Spears. Yeah. I was worried about that one. They all would know it. Like, oh, right yeah. Oh, yeah. I can picture their outfits and everything. Yeah, that's iconic. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I was I five that. when that oh, happened. Wow. So. Wasn't watching it. I watched that live. I remember. <laughs> that just hurt Robin's soul. I remember watching I'm that sorry. live. And being like, ah, that was hot. Okay. <laughs> On to the next. What pop star memorably wore a plunging green Versace dress to the 2000 Grammy Awards? J-Lo. Good job. 2000, I was six. So that was the most <laughs> iconic moment. The amount of copycat dresses that were on sale at the mall in the next week that we all tried to wear insane mm. she oh my looked gosh, i bet phenomenal like that was peak i mean she's peak she's now always too. Peak. yeah but man when she hit that red carpet i, I mean whenever i went and got my makeup done at the, 
at the mall at the clinic counter. <laughs> uh, I would be like, I want that JLo like sun kissed look. And they just made me so orange and I had to wipe it all off. <laughs> oh, but that was no. like, she set the bar of like, everybody needs to be, it was the same thing with the high school musical. Like tan. everybody needs to be tan. Tan, as tan, tan as tan. possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What is the real name, real full name of Snoop Dogg? Snoopophilus <laughs> Dogmond. <laughs> Great guess. Hold on. I have no idea. Oh, I feel like I know you this. You mean that wasn't on his birth certificate? I feel like I should know this. Is it like Raymond? It could be. Troy. If I've got, I know 50 Cents. I know P. Diddy's. I, I know m and -Ms. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say Snoop Dogg's full name. I heard someone from my office today say it because I practiced these questions. <laughs> Did they know and it? And he knew it. I was shocked. That's impressive. Yeah. I have no idea. I don't know it, Bailey. What is it? All right. It's Calvin yeah. Cordozer Broadus Jr. I was so close. So it's actually a pretty long name. For Snoop Dogopus. <laughs> Snoop. Snoopless. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. What song is featured in season four of Stranger Things? I didn't watch Running it. up that hill. Running up the hill. Oh, yeah. That was <laughs> so popular. Sud, you should watch it because literally that scene alone it is scared like, me. so good. It, it scared it, me. It, okay. I, I agree with that. I didn't like it. Definitely oh, it gets, don't watch it by yourself. It gets scary, yeah. but can help it's it. still good. Yeah. It's still very, yeah. very good. Okay. 10 out of 10 recommend. Sweet Thing is known from what Disney Channel show? It's from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody because that's what Zack calls Maddie at the candy counter. That's Correct. right. Sweet Correct. bang. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay, sorry. We're sticking on the Disney Channel for a second. What Disney Channel movie involved the Barcelona Music Festival? Cheetah Girls 2. Have you seen that? No. Oh, it's on the list for her. She's getting oh, it. Oh, my God. She's you, getting you it soon. You need to have me back for Cheetah Oh, I'll have you back for Cheetah Girls. <laughs> Bailey is one of the ones that literally we performed every cheetah girls so musical number what you're saying and is we would, cheetah girls is your josie and the pussycats sure yeah because it's like the same kind of thing right yeah they're yeah. they're in a girl group and they're cats mm, they don't dress up as cats though they, they don't, don't just wear, like wear cheetah. no they don't they don't yeah no, they just wear cheetah print okay they same only yeah. different yeah no tails or ears or anything like that I know the choreography to their dances no, that they we, do. And we would thing. argue over who got to be which cheetah girl. Oh, of course. Mm, like the Spice Girls. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. It ended in a lot of fights. Yeah. We'll have, Bailey, <laughs> we'll have Bailey back for when you get the cheetah girls. Okay. But we need a full-on performance for the Tiki Talkie. Yeah. We could do we that. We can do that for sure. Okay. Great. We might have to have a little wine and me. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm, I'm Bailey, that, that just made me think of when we wine weekend, when you did the strut up the oh, wine. Oh, yeah. Weekend. So. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, you go. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so we do Wine Weekend every year with our moms and all the daughters. And the last wine, or technically it's not the last because we always end up going to another one after it. <laughs> we always somehow. say this will be our last stop. This will no, be the last stop. It's never, never the last stop. But it's a castle and there's like a, what would you call that? Like, like a, a ramp, ramp up to the entry of the castle. Um, yes. And each year that we've gone, by that point, I'm, you know, Feeling really good. That's like our I'm fifth in a, stop. It's like yeah, our fifth winery I'm, of the I'm day. I'm on a level feeling where great. I do not care what anyone thinks or who's going to tell me not to do something. Yeah. And so I always strut up the <laughs> ramp. I make everybody wait at the back. And someone usually records me. Mm -hmm. And this past year when we did it, we had sound in the background <laughs> to strut from Cheetah Girls too. So I'm following Bailey with my phone like this. Kelby's following with the music. So do I have your consent to splice that into the YouTube video right now? Yeah. Yeah. Great. So Bailey is doing a full-on performance to strut by the Cheetah Girls with the music playing in the background while I'm videoing in her face. Amazing. Like, it's like I'm following her up the ramp. Amazing. So good. Great time. Love Always it. Always a great time at that point. Mm -hmm. You know? Sounds great. Um, okay. So, what Disney Channel original movie involved a dairy farm? Cowbells. I was wondering if you were going <laughs> to get that. Wow. I, I told, I told, I said this on the last time when we had Marathon and did trivia. I said, if it's a Disney Channel original movie, I'm not going to miss it. Like, it was those just are not just in my realm. Like, I'd never watch the Disney Channel. I watch Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network. Like, Disney Channel was just not. That's how my husband was. He yeah. 
literally did not grow up on any Disney. So no. his it's sister like really didn't either. All I grew up That's on. That's all we grew like, up on. Like, we just on. didn't watch it. Like, it just wasn't a thing. And so maybe by the time it was a thing, I was too old to watch it. That's what That's I'm fair. thinking. But, yeah. Like, I don't even think that they had shows that were for people my age when I was a kid. Like, I just don't think it was a thing. Like, it was still more, like, kid, like, super young yeah age. maybe or like maybe they played like, like mickey Disney mouse Claus that's what i'm thinking yeah like, i don't know i like have to look it up it really... just was not a part of the conversation god it was that's the fair. only conversation for us yeah, growing yeah. Up. that's <laughs> all we watched so i won't miss um, a disney channel or great movie. so i got us on that robin perfect all right so now we're moving into a little friends category nice. okay okay Woo-hoo. what is the name of ross and monica's dog from their childhood <gasps> Oh, no. I have a random guess that I don't think is right. Say it so maybe I can... It'll... Benny. That's not right. No, that's not right. Is it something stupid? I, well, I, I know that... <laughs> LaPoo. No, that's that's Rachel's dog. Rachel's dog is LaPoo. Yep. I have no clue. Monkey. No. Damn it. I, I can't remember. All I can remember is Rachel's LaPoo. I don't know. What is it? Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi, yes. You remember at the anniversary yes, party? Yes, now I remember. Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi. Yep. Yeah, no. All I could think of was Rachel. Lapu. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Okay. okay. Well, thank you, Bay, for joining us and running trivia and talking about High School Musical. We will uh, have you back for Cheetah Girls, but I'll probably give Robin a little break maybe after High School Musical 3 before I go back to the That's fair. Disney Channel crazy world. I don't need a break. Maybe we'll go right into it. We'll see. <laughs> Um, but thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank y'all for having me. Mm-hmm. Of course. All right, we're gonna take it over to the Rex. To the Rex. Okay, so my rec is oh, that was really fun with Bailey. Yay. <laughs> um <laughs> uh, so my rec is a show on Apple TV, which I know you don't have, but Mm-mm. it's called Loot and it's with Maya Rudolph, is her okay. name? Uh, you know, comedian, SNL, all yeah. the things. And Bridesmaids. Bridesmaids, duh. It's um it's on season two right now, and there's probably about seven or eight episodes out by now. It is hilarious. Okay. Like she is just the the plot's very unique. Um, the the characters, their relationships, their friendships, their colleagues, mm-hmm. and the whole thing. And she is just I L O L so much watching this show. Okay, it's feel good, it's light, and it's hilarious. So if you need a good show and you have Apple TV, I highly recommend watching the show. Loot, loot. Mm-hmm. Okay, my rec is super quick. It's one song. <laughs> um, so Posty, mm-hmm. not the feature guy. Nope. Uh, Post Malone just came out with a new song with Morgan Wallen. Mm-hmm. Um, so the country vibe. Yeah. And I really, really like it. Like mm. it's upbeat. It's fun. I've been dying for Posty to release a country album after yeah. seeing him. He loves to do country music. Like he has done these like acoustic sessions where his he's released. His voice is so versatile. Like Yes. He's, he's done some. Um, I was so wrong about him. I can't get over it. He's so wrong. That's why I was flabbergasted. I raised my hands up. Flabbergasted when you said that. Um, he's done some acoustic sessions singing like some of his favorite country songs. Yeah. And I love watching those videos. Yeah. And then we saw him at Coachella do a lot of country songs. And so now he's out with one with Morgan Wallen that's really good. And I think it's just hints and hints and hints that he's going to release a country album soon, which I'm excited about because it jams. Very cool. What's it called? I Had Some Help. Okay. I Had Some Help. <laughs> it's good. I haven't listened. I clicked on one video and barely played any of it. And I was like, I don't have time to like listen to this and fully appreciate it right now. So I clicked off of it, but now I'll definitely give it a listen. It's a good upbeat country song. Um, I like it a lot. Cool. So check it out people. All right. Well, I guess that's all we have for you this week. That's it. Yeah. Follow us on all the things. Find us on all the things. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, TikTok, Instagram. Yep. And make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Go comment on our TikTok, on our Crumble videos. Please, please, please. At Crumble so they pay attention. (laughs) And uh, we'll see you all next week. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.